Hello YouTube, this is the Winter Modular Eloquenza. It's my favorite sequencer in the Eurowack world. It's been around for a while, but I still think it's the most versatile sequencer that you can get in Eurowack world. And there's so many great things about it. And the more you use it, the more you find great ways of playing it that you didn't really envision before. And today I would like to share one of my well, maybe tricks that I use with this thing to make my music more interesting and evolving over time. Specifically, what I'm going to show you is how you can create a single pattern that will gradually evolve over time. Like after a couple of repetitions, it will change melodically without having to leave the pattern. So you just create a single pattern and that it will slowly change over time in a predefined way. I find that extremely useful and I hope you do too. Let's get right to it. The way this is set up is the first six tracks are hooked to six different oscillators. So the first track is going into a Clevis twin wave. So let's punch in a little sequence so that we can hear it. All right, let's maybe add a kick to give it a little bit more rhythm. All right, there you go. And after a while, of course, this gets boring and you want to change it. And if you live in Technoland, you would maybe want to change the pitch of the sequence that's playing after four or eight repetitions, pitch it up a little bit and then go back down so that you can slowly build your track. So the easy way to do that, or the obvious way to do that, would to ha would be to make different patterns, right? So copy this into another pattern, and then change the pitch in that pattern, and then change them, chain them together, and that's that gets complicated very quickly. However, you can actually make this pattern change after a while without having to leave the pattern, which I find much easier to work with and much better for live situations. So basically what you need to do is you need to assign one track, in this case we use track H, that will serve as the master track that will transpose all of the other tracks. And the way to do this is you take another patch cable and you patch the CV out of that master control track which is now track H in our example, and patch that into CV1. And then you need to tell the Eloquenza to add the voltage that comes out of track H to all of the other tracks. And you do that by going to Options, sorry, Options, and then you go to CV1 Assign, and then you go to CV Add, and then you want to make sure that all the tracks that you want to control with, in this case, track H, are selected here. Um, I recommend using all available tracks so they will all stay in the same melody, on the same pitch. So now what's happening is that the note that comes out of track H is added to the note that comes out of track A uh, before going into the oscillator. And because all of this is quantized, in this case, to A minor, it doesn't really get out of tune. So what we can do now is use track H to change the pitch of all the other tracks. In our case, in our example case now, that would be track A. So let me punch in notes in track H like this. And these are then getting added to the notes of track A. So now let's, for example, keep the first, well, the first four obviously are C1 because that's the default note. And let's take uh, notes five to eight and set them to G1 instead of C1. I have to do this with one hand, obviously, but I'm glad that this thing is small enough to allow me to do that. So, and for this to become really useful, what we do next is we're going to slow track H down 
so that it will only advance a single note each time the pattern repeats. And the way to do that is make sure that your control pattern is selected. So this is, sorry, that your control track is selected, H. And now we go to step mode. Make sure that only your control track is selected, in this case track H. And now we set step mode for track H to divide and by 16. And now, as you can see, track H is advancing one note every time the entire pattern runs through one time. So now, track H is transposing the pattern in a stepwise way. So now, as you can see, if we're going four repetitions of the pattern here, pitches the entire thing up, and then back down again. And the cool thing is now, if you use track length on this control track, so track length, and set it only to repeat notes one to four, it will stay in the pitch that these four nodes add to the other nodes. And then if you, so this could be like a great starting point for a track where you're bringing in different voices or different sets of percussions. And once you're happy, you what you can do is then make this track longer so it will eventually go into the parts of the track where the other tracks are being pitched upwards like now. Alright, hear that? And the cool thing is that because this is added to all of the other tracks, you can do that to all tracks simultaneously so everything will be pitched up. Um, or not if you want to because you can disable this on a track wise level. And I found this a great way to create more complex and evolving patterns without having to program many patterns because a part of the pattern that runs slower controls the rest of the pattern. And this for me is an ultimate tool for creating evolving tracks especially for live situations because especially using this track length is really easy to do also in the dark. I hope you found this like uh, this helpful. If you did, press like and subscribe, and I hope to see you around again soon.